Ah, good evening people, it's Jim here from jagfx.com. Uh, it's Monday the 2nd of October 2017. I know it's been a fair while between videos. Uh, but this one is more of a introduction to MT5. Now I know I've been promising for a fair while now for all my readers um, that I'm converting uh, my custom indicators over to the MT5 platform so you could they could be used on both MT4 and MT5. Uh, that programming has been completed so in the next few days everyone should be getting some sort of um, email or I'll advertise it in my Facebook group but uh, anyone that's on the email list that's subscribed to the indicator package from the MT4 from any of the books will receive notification. Now with MT5 I've downloaded a couple of demo platforms um, I've been playing with them it is something new it does take a little bit of getting used to it's very similar to MT4 uh, there is a couple of things you have to be aware of um, there's like there's no um, simple data download uh, for like your tick history uh, your history um, like an MT4 um, there's also an issue with hedging now there's two different types of MT5 accounts uh, I'll include the link to this page in the, below the video but this is basically from uh, MetaTrader 5 itself about the hedging option which was only introduced um, last year sometime um, now not every broker offers this hedging and all it means is you can buy and sell at the same time whereas previously on MT5 if you say bought three lots then sold two lots it would close out two lots of your um, buy trade or your first trade so it, it wasn't it's not very user friendly especially for my type of trading uh, so this new hedging feature it looks like it, it may have overcome that problem however as I said not all brokers that offer MT5 use this hedging or offer this hedging feature so that's something you have to be aware of and having said that there's not that many brokers that actually offer MT5 as yet they seem to be a bit slow on the uptake um, I'm not sure what's going on there but it's just it's not happening as quick as I think MetaQuotes which is the owner of MT4 and MT5 would like uh, there's no more major upgrades to MT4 so they, they want to phase it out and anytime you go to download MT4 from their site uh, it'll default to the MT5 platform which catches a few people out that are new to trading uh, to get the MT4 platform as you know you have to go to a specific broker site like Pepperstone or Oanda or something like that but anyway um, so I'm not totally familiar with MT5 so I sort of just stumbled my way through it and um, I've figured it out and I've got the indicators done and the templates set up so it's very similar I'll just run through and show you how I would load them onto the platform so this is the MT5 platform open at the moment I've got two charts I've already got a, my own template here this is just my basic template it's like the MT4 platform you just right click anywhere in the chart same sort of box pops up templates there's my basic there so it's I'll show you in a minute when I load the other ones on uh, it's the same deal to access your indicators uh, templates EAs you just go to file and open data folder same as MT4 there's your folder there the only difference is instead of being called MQL4 this one's called MQL5 but actually everything's the same there's a couple of little different things and we'll run through that so I'll just get on my desktop and here I've got a folder this has got the indicators on here a couple of folders MT5 mod MACD that's the um, system from the the bonus system from the basics book and MT5 high probability that's either the high probability or the divergence book so there's two different systems and basically they they use the same um, indicators the only difference is with the um, the mod MACD from the the basics book has the MACD complete and obviously it's got a different template so your templates to TPL so you, you'll see the file it's different to the other these, these are the indicators the custom indicators and that's your template TPL so that'll go in a different folder 
and if we go to the high probability there's your high probability and there's your other three indicators so if you bought one book you'll receive the one relevant to that book if you've bought multiple books and you'll receive both so if there's any dramas you know where to get me admin at jagfx.com but anyway let's do this so we'll go back to the mt5 platform like i said very similar to the mt4 i'll load the indicators first so you just go to file open data folder um, go to the mql5 folder double click on that open that and exactly the same as MT4, you'll see the indicators file. Double click on that. Now this is where it's a little bit different. Depending on what your broker is, you might see another folder here with examples. I've already loaded one indicator in there. That's my, one of my other custom indicators. So this is the page. You don't have to go into that examples folder. That just gives you all the default settings and that. So all you do is just stay on this page here. So I'll just go back one step. So just click on indicators and we're in this page here. Now you can minimize your platform just like MT4 just to get it out of the way. So it brings up my folder. Now I just want the indicators. I'll just go to the um, other one that's got the four indicators in there. So I just want to copy these four indicators. Simple matter of just copying and paste. This is the slow way probably of copying and pasting. This is the only way I know. <laughs> so there they are, they're in there. So there's all the indicators. Um, so indicators are in. Like I said, they're all the same for both. Now with templates, a little bit different to the MT4. Now, with the MT4, you'd be in here and there'd be a templates folder on this front page. But in MT5, it's different. So you just have to pay a little bit of attention. Again, go to the MQL5 folder, double click on that. We're in the same page as the indicators. There's the indicators folder there. Come down to profiles. So you've got that profiles, double click on that, and you'll see more folders, and there it is, templates. Seems in a strange place, but that's where it is on MT5. Double click on that, and here's my basic templates already in there. So we'll just go across here, copy this one, the modified copy, paste it in there. Now I just have to get the other template from the other system, high probability. Copy, paste in there. So there's the two templates, so I've just added. TPL, TPL, that's template, gives it away. Uh, Close that folder, you can just close your data folder, no problems, just go bring my platform back up. Now with MT4, all you have to do is do a refresh. Uh, but MT5 is a little bit different. The best thing to do with MT5, once you've loaded everything like I've just done, is just go up to, we're just gonna reboot the actual platforms. Go to File and go to Exit. Make sure you do it this way, just don't click on the cross up in the top right hand corner because if you do that you, you lose any data that you've got on your charts that you haven't saved since. So we just get a file, exit. So that's closed, we'll open it up again. Sorry about my messy desktop but that's just the way I roll. So here we go, we'll open it up again. Now the, the, the icons or the symbols up the top are fairly similar to the ones on MT4, so it's just a matter of running your cursor over and you can see what they are. It's just going to take you guys a bit of playing around the demo account to get used to it. It's something different. So, so we'll just open up the navigator window and we'll have a look, see if everything's in there. Go down to the bottom and hopefully, yep, see there's my indicators there. MACD Complete, MACD Platinum, QMP Filter and QQE Advanced. So all the indicators are there, which is good. That's exactly what we want. Now we've got two charts open, so we'll um, might as well use each one for a um, template. So just like MT4, just right click anywhere in the chart and templates, it brings up a list. And all you do is click on the template and there you go. So that's a high probability 
or the divergence, depends which book you read, but that's basically the template for that. Same on this chart, right click, templates, modified MACD, click on that, and there it is. So there's both templates, and you can play with them, change the colors, do what you want with them. These are just my setup. You'll notice that the um, MT5 uh, MACD Platinum, which is this indicator at the bottom of the high probability one, is uh, looks a little different. It hasn't got all the bells and whistles uh, of the previous version on MT4. My program actually cleaned up a fair bit. I'll just click on and show you the properties. Um, that's all there is basically. So um, there's your settings and zero lag to true, which we need. Show markers to true, which we need. Now she has added alerts, so there's an alert there. You can just turn that on and off as you please. And same applies to, I believe, the QMP filter. Now hang on a sec. Um, indicators. So I'm just getting used to this. So we've got the QMP filter. It's slightly changed. Um, the high time frame instead of having zero there it's just current or you can select from any of those on the list there that's all the different time frames and uh, what else we got here we just, I think she added a yep added a, an alert to the um, QMP filter also so you can turn that on or off it gets a bit annoying if you leave it on <laughs> especially on a lower time frame a one minute chart or something the thing big in a way so that's your templates and your indicators. So that was pretty straightforward. Um, it's not, it's not difficult. It's very close to the same as MT4. It's just, it's just that where you put the templates is a little bit different. Like I said, I'm not used to the MT5 yet. Uh, I'm still getting wrapping my head around it. The good thing I like about MT5 so far, I've noticed you've got these little tabs under price here. They're all news related, so I think you can click on them and see what news is coming up, etc. Not sure how useful that is, uh, but this is what I like. Um, you right click on the chart, time frames, have a look at this. Look at all the different time frames one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute. You, know. you go to the hours, you can have one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve hours. So a lot more selection there without sucking the life out of you laptop so that's it guys that's mt5 in a nutshell <laughs> very brief i know um, if you've got any problems with any of this uh, they're, they're obviously going to be some issues with people receiving the indicators and and if you do notice any problems with the actual indicators themselves just get back to me straight away uh, you can either do it through my um, website or the facebook group if you're not a member there already um, just have a look for JagFX in the Facebook. Um, also at my email at um, admin at jagfx.com. So thanks for watching and hopefully that explains things and in the next few days we'll get these indicators out to you and good luck with your MT5 experience. But for now I think I'll be sticking with MT4 for a while until it's phased out completely because I'm just so used to it. All right, guys. Cheers. Have a good one.